Welcome to my lecture on neural development. My name is Dr. Sompora. Please check out other lectures for this chapter in the USMLE RX video series. Fetal growth is a timely and intricate process. Certain environmental conditions must be present in utero to produce a healthy fetus. External toxins, drugs, gene mutations, or infectious agents result in maldevelopment during organogenesis, which can unfortunately cause spontaneous abortions. Let me expand on this a little in the next few minutes. The basis of this review will allow you to 1. Describe the embryological course of nervous system development in a human fetus. 2. Identify important genes that control neural development. And 3. Recognize the nodal cord, neural plate, and neural crest along with surrounding structures in images of a blastocyst. Embryogenesis is a process lasting 8 weeks. It begins after fertilization and implantation. The amniotic cavity, yolk sac, embryonic mesoderm, and chorionic cavity develop during the second week, after which a tri-laminar embryonic disc differentiates through gastrulation in weeks 3 and 4. What I am focused on here is neurulation, which also takes place in the third and fourth week. The goal during that time is to form a nervous system. Notogenesis utilizes axial mesoderm to form a notochord, which will induce ectoderm via a stream of signaling molecules. Therefore, the nervous system is solely one germ cell layer in origin. In summary, by day 28, a neural tube with neural pores exists beside the neural crest. The neural plate is above the notochord. I will now outline this sequence in detail. Firstly, the central area of the neural plate invaginates to become the neural groove. The longitudinal folds found laterally to the groove converge and convert it into a tube. The dorsal aspect of this tube are specialized neural crest. The pores I mentioned earlier allow for the neural tube to communicate with the amniotic cavity through a cranial and caudal opening. These neural pores close between days 24 and 27. The neural tube is a precursor to the primitive central and peripheral nervous system and for the retina. Neural crests are antecedents of neurons, the dorsal root ganglia and glia of the PNS. The surface ectoderm will form epidermis. The remaining nodal cord becomes the nucleus pulposus of the intervertebral discs. Neural tube defects are the most common of CNS malformations due to an incomplete closure of the neural tube. What pathologies can you recall? Excellent, spina bifida and anencephaly are two great examples. These defects can be prevented with the use of folate supplementation before conception and throughout the first trimester of pregnancy. The last point I must highlight is that the dorsal aspect of the neural plate will control sensory functions, while the ventral, motor. The genes that regulate this are TGF-beta and SHH. TGF-beta or transforming growth factor beta is a superfamily of transcription factors. The encoded protein regulates cell proliferation, differentiation, and growth. It also modulates expression and activation of other growth factors, including interferon gamma and tumor necrosis factor alpha. SHH makes a protein called the sonic hedgehog, which functions as a chemical signal critical for embryonic development. It plays a role in cell growth, cell specialization, and patterning of the fetal body. Bone morphogenetic proteins are multifunctional growth factors. They play a role in heart, neural, cartilage, and postnatal bone development. The activity of these proteins were first studied in the 1960s. Flash quiz. After routine second trimester ultrasound, 
a young woman is informed her baby is suffering from anencephaly, which is not compatible with life. In what week of embryogenesis was there failed fusion of the neural tube? The failure of the neural tube to fuse is a process occurring in normal fetuses at gestational weeks 3 and 4. Anencephaly is a type of spina bifida in which the brain, scalp, and skull do not completely form. My takeaways. The neural tube forms after a groove is created from folds of the neural crest. Normal neural development relies on signaling from mesoderm, but it is solely ectoderm in origin. Embryogenesis is a delicate process requiring the transcription of factors belonging to a large gene subclasses. An interruption in neural development can result in serious and sometimes fatal malformations of the spinal cord. Thanks for joining me on this journey to review neurology. Please take a moment to rate my video. Good luck on your studies and future in medicine.